when I read the bios of everyone in this room, I was sure maybe there was a mistake or something because everyone was so accomplished in their field already. And I felt like this was just a top up for them. But for me, it was really the start of a whole new journey because everyone always saw leadership in me, but I still hadn't seen it yet. But when I saw Professor Mamukethi Paken that day, I just realized that that's who I want to be. I want to be relaxed and still be amazing. I don't want to try too hard to be heard, but I still want to get the message across. And above all, I want to do it through children. And so when I, I listened yesterday to all of the stories, I realized that that's what I want to do. I want to tell the African story to children. And really, who's telling our story to the rest of the world? I want to do that. For me, it's about starting with the child. We are old, we may have formed a lot of biases already, and all of this self-reflection is helping us. But a child doesn't know anything. And if I can start this with children, then when they are old enough, this faculty won't have to work so hard to get the message across to them. They will already have a really strong foundation and they'll know where they want to go. I want to be a channel. I want to be like Mabel. Mabel was never here to be a speaker, but we felt her presence every day. I don't have to be the amazing person who's great, but when I find peace in what I'm doing and greatness comes along like it does for Mabel, then I'm okay with that. I want to be a channel. And before that channel, I have to be clean myself. I have to be focused myself so that through me, smoothness passes and through me, wealth passes. So this process, this program has just taught me to be a channel. Thank you.